In this video, we'll be going over chart basics. Now you can work with charts within the console window, or you can open separate chart windows to work with charts independently. The simplest way to open a chart window would be via the File menu, File, New, New Chart Window. You can also open a new chart window via the Open Chart Window icon in the upper right-hand corner. Now regardless of how you open the chart window, you will still have the same functionality. For instance, you can add panels if you want to view the components panel, or perhaps you want to view the DOM, or even a time and sales. Okay, these, this functionality is available to you um, as it would be in the console. Okay, so let's just go over some of the aspects of the chart. So of course we have the toolbar. In the far left we have the symbol. We can search. We have some functionality here, including changing time frame. The far right, we can toggle on or off certain properties and panels. To the left, we have the option of viewing the components panel. And to the right, the trade panel, along with other panels. The top, we have the symbol tab for the chart. And this allows you to organize your charts. For instance, here I have also Apple along with the euro and of course I can add more charts or any other type of panels. We have the symbol followed by the time frame along with a study legend. Now for studies of course we can either add them as an overlay on the chart or we can have them added as a separate plotted graph underneath the chart. You'll see here a new graph. Okay, It's plotted underneath. Of course, on the right, we have the price axis, where you'll see price indicators along with any study indicators. We have the time axis. And then, of course, down here, we have the bird's eye view, which will allow you to click and drag and go to a specific point in historical time or in the timeline. We have other navigation icons, the bottom right underneath the chart. We have to go to a specific date. We can go to a specific time span. Again, this is a toggle. This one here is to toggle on or off the bird's eye view. And this would be to save templates. And here we have the option of semi-log scale. Here we have different time frames. Now this can be customized. You can add or remove according to your preferences. We can left click on the time axis with the mouse button. And while holding down the mouse button, drag to the left to expand the chart to see more detail or drag to the right to compress the chart to see more data. We can also compress and expand the price axis by left clicking and dragging. That will expand or compress. You can also turn off auto scale and this will allow you to freely move the chart. And by clicking auto scale and then double clicking the price axis, this will reset the chart so that it's auto scaled and the highs and lows will always show in the chart. At the bottom, we have the blue status bar. To the far left, we have the connection icon. If it's white, you're connected. If it's an amber or an orange, you're disconnected. Some linking options. And then to the far right, the current date and time. That wraps up this video, and we'll see you in the next.